Welcome to this video and we're going to look at how to use Desmos to try and find equations of curves that go through certain points. So you'll have a set of points and you don't know the equation of the curve and you don't know what the curve looks like and you want to use Desmos to try and help you do that. So let's get straight on into that, get me out of the way and we can have a look at this. First thing we need to do is put some points in. Let's put some points in our table. We've got one, make that two, make that three. And then we're going to say, let's make this two, make this three, and five. Okay. Now, what I'm going to try and do is it's not a straight line, as you can see. Okay? If we try and draw a straight line, we would get very far. You could try and use y equals mx plus c to model it, see where you get to, and it will try and do a best fit line for you. So let's just have a look at that um, and see what happens. What we do is we type in y1, to represent y values. And we try a tilde instead of an equal sign to make this function work. And then what we're going to do, if we're doing a line of best fit, what we do is we must make sure all the x value, the x ones, are put in brackets. Now it's already trying to do a line of best fit through this, which doesn't have a plus c in it. So we can put a plus c, okay, and it finds the line of best fit. Um, that's a straight line that go fits these points and does the best to maximise our r value and get the reduced. Our video, um, our residuals when doing this, but we this is obviously a curve a straight line. So let's make it a quadratic. So let's put to the power of two using the power button, and let's put a b open brackets x one close brackets plus c here, and we can see now we have a curve that goes straight through all these points. And therefore, what's here the equation is? It, so the equation that we have here is going to be y equals a, which is 0 0.5 x squared minus 0.5b plus c which is 2. So if we were to just type that as a normal equation, let's just do that, just to just check. We have 0.5x um, power 2 minus 0.5x plus 2 and we see it goes straight on top of our original curve. Um, I don't know why it's got to this point. Two. It's obviously got a little bit confused there. And we can turn this off, turn it back on again, and you can see that this is exactly the same curve. So there we go. Get your plot your points. Use this function to decide on a curve, um, on, on a type of curve you want to try and match to your points, and then it will come out. And you can always just check by typing it in, but there's no really no need um, to do that once you've got these points. If you wanted to do a cubic, what you could do is you could replace this with ax1 cubed plus bx1 squared plus cx1 plus d and then you could do other functions to try and map similarly and desmos will do all the grunt work i hope that helped and that you were able to use this to map some functions onto some points